need to grab need to grab the hyper ice viper 2.0 charging it up after the trip the uh the massage uh foam roller oh yeah recovery is in full effect full effect after the usa mountain running championships uh, usually doms delayed onset muscle soreness usually it sets in 48 hours later it's setting in a little quicker after this race bombing down the ski hills with no trails just straight down the mountain uh, I think my legs are a little extra sore, so we're gonna work it out. And yes, I'm drinking my turmeric tea. There we go. And also, forgot one thing. Hold on. Be right back. Hold on. And yes, just got out of a Epsom salt bath. You better believe it. You know how I love these, especially in the winter time when it's freezing out. But I don't know. I feel like it helps me. Does it? You know, I may never know the full answer to that. But I do an Epsom salt bath especially after a hard race. So here we go. And ha, forgot one more thing. Hold on. It's in here charging up. Need to grab, need to grab the Hyper Ice Viper 2.0, charging it up after the trip. The, uh, the massage uh, foam roller here. So a Amster, Amsterdam, Amsterdam is the goal. You better believe it. So I am, uh, I am paying special attention we are, well, when, when you're watching this, it's October 1st, and Amsterdam is October 20th. So that means, if I'm doing the math right, 20 days, 20 days, are we, am I doing it right here, folks? So I'm paying special attention to recovery after the, uh, after the mountain race, up and down the ski hills. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, just doing that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, sweet. Oh, ah. Oh, the quads. Oh, they're barking at me now. They're barking at me now. Actually, I almost forgot before we fire this up. Hold on, hold on, wait for it. I almost forgot. Ah, that's better, that's better. Got the compressed sport compression sleeves on to help, help get that blood flow going all through those legs. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get going here, roll out. So remember everyone, uh, maybe, what was it, two weeks ago that we talked about uh, finding your niche in running, right? I think it was a great, like a lot of people enjoyed uh, the comment section and thinking about the topic. Some people had never thought about uh, the topic of seeking out what you uh, excel at in running, whether it's road running, trail running, uh, or the distance you're going after. Are you going after uh, 100 milers? Are you going after half marathons? Are you going after one mile uh, on a track? Well, there's a lot of different uh, scenarios out there in the running world. Well. Um, and yes, this box, uh, we will open it up in a minute, connects to uh, what I'm about to share is that I am continuing to figure out in the running world what my niche is as well. Uh, the results from yesterday's race in New Hampshire, I think, is continuing to um, uh, convince and uh, support my thesis that 100-mile races are not quite my wheelhouse right now, right now as a 34 year old. Talk to me maybe in six years when I turn 40. And, but as a 34 year old, I am just thinking, huh, maybe I've got something here with this uphill mountain running. Well, also I'm trying to be patient and listen to my interests, uh, listen to what I'm good at, what I'm maybe not as strong at. Uh, so for example, what is my niche here on YouTube, okay? So I'm gonna talk about that in a minute once we open this box. Oh my goodness, okay. And even though I have this Hyper Ice Vibrating Massage Foam Roller, it does not replace my weekly massage therapist appointment. It's just totally different how a massage therapist uh, can basically dig in and really release. It's just, it's different. Um, this helps. This basically supplements as best as possible the rest of the week, but it, it's not a replacement to, oh, a massage therapist, Whew. whom I will thankfully get to see tomorrow. Oh my gosh, this feels incredible, everybody, incredible. All right, so I, I was gonna wait to uh, open open up the box until after the, uh, the run today, the jog and stretch run, but I cannot wait, can't wait. So here we go. This arrived when I was out in New Hampshire. Oh, yes, bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Whew. Boy, what a day, what a day. I, I gotta, I'll have to call my brother later tonight and see 
how he's feeling, how his legs are feeling, um, how his back is fe- His back was hurting a little bit on the downhill uh, yesterday. So it would just be interesting to see how he's reacting to the, uh, whew, we raced hard, I tell you what. All right, here we go. Ready? Bada bing, bada boom, bum, boom. There we go. All right, some more Unibed recovery mix. You know how much I've been uh, loving that. And uh, it's been, I don't know, I'm just testing. You know me, like I test everything as much as I possibly can, I should say. Noon, Unibed, Morton, um, Tailwind, all these different companies that have recovery mixes. So Univet has been one that I've kind of honed in on recently after the long run. So that's been good. And then I picked up a cryosphere. That's right. I couldn't resist. Um, thank you, Amazon, for getting this to me really quick. This is a cold massage roller. Shall we open it? All right. Can you see this here? There it is, the Recoup cold cryosphere. Okay. A cold massage roller. And again, uh, just trying to get better at getting at getting better after a hard race. Okay, here's the instruction manual. Pretty sweet there. It gives some ideas on how to use it. All right, see if you can see that there. Whoop. And then let's pull pull it out here. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Hopefully it's on your screen there. Boom. Wow, looks pretty sweet. Okay, boom. There it is. Pulling it out. Let me just pull this plastic off here. So here we go, the Recoup Cold Cryosphere Massage Roller. Oh my goodness. So basically how to use it, I just read the instructions. I don't always read instructions, but I'm glad I did today. You, you unscrew this, this blue rim here, just like that, which releases the ball of steel. And then we're going to go put this. That's right. Follow me. Right in here. Da, 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 da. Right in here. We put it. There we go, got the ball, we're putting it in the freezer. That's right, I'll stick it right down there. All right, see you in an hour. We're back everyone. Okay. I'm going to be, I'm always going to be transparent with all of you about my training. So I doubled today after a race. That's a little strange. Let me explain why. After the race, after all my races, I, I like to splurge a little bit. You know what I mean? Get some extra chocolate, get some ice cream, just like enjoy a few treats, if you know what I mean. I had a, uh, a ginger ale on the uh, airplane ride home, and like ginger ale is considered, I would say, one of the better sodas out there or pops out there. And uh, But it's like all that sugar over the past 24 hours just wrecked me. So this morning I ran three miles at like 10, 15 per mile was my average pace, which was quite a bit slower than my normal recovery pace because my stomach was just killing me. It was not happy. And so I said, okay, if I want my legs to feel better for tomorrow's workout, as I get ready, I need to do all of this down here and I need to go out for some more miles tonight just to try and shake the legs out and make them as happy as possible. Keeping in mind, like, I have to train through this soreness just more than I would usually like to because Amsterdam is 20, 20 days away, less than three weeks. So that's the situation. And yes, I'm back on salads, back on eating healthy again after a 24-hour hiatus. Let's go inside, make our salad for the evening, our, get our protein going. Papa's home. Good to see you boys. Okay. Well, it's just good to be home. Oh, we're so glad you're home. Good, good to see, see everyone. National Hello. Championships. Going to world. We're going to the ship. Bob is going to the world championships. Woo! In Argentina. What, what's the first championship? It's the world championships. Everybody in the whole world. Look so, fast at running in my mountain. Together. A vlog fan said I need to watch out for the runners from Uganda. Really? Oh, yeah. Said they have a strong team. Okay. Watch out. 
Come on, Tina. Yeah. We're okay live. All right, so dinner is done, and it's chilly out. It's uh, tomorrow supposed to be a high of like 62 here in Denver, so fall is really on us. Okay, here we go. Going into the freezer, pulling out the frozen, the frozen ball here. Let's see how. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's cold. All right, let's go give this. Let's go give this a shot. See if we can't work out some knot. So I, I read on the instructions, and yes, we are. We are not in a fashion contest, ladies and gentlemen. Just making that clear. Oh man, when you're in full-on recovery, you don't care what your clothes look like. Okay, I think I'm getting a little more sore. Okay, here we go. So um, they said that this ball will stay cold for an hour. That's pretty impressive in my opinion. And then they also said that uh, you can use this directly on your skin if you want, or you can do it through uh, a piece of clothing. Uh, I probably will do it in uh, through uh, or directly on the skin mostly moving forward, but we'll give it a shot through the uh, compression sleeves here first. Okay, first time using this. Let's give it a shot. So I am definitely very sore on the inside of my quad right through here. So that's where we're going to do it first. I'm going to start, I think, on the skin first. And they said you don't want your leg to be, oh, nice. Oh, that's nice. You don't want your leg to be wet. Oh my goodness. Okay, that feels good. Ooh. Oh. Oh my. I'm sore. Right through here. Oh my my, that feels good. Now listen, as far as the, the correct time to do this, like right after working out, uh, in the morning, at night, uh, right after the race, Holy smokes, I don't know. Like, I'm not an expert, folks. I'm just, I'm testing and figuring it out alongside you. So, uh, but I will continue to test. And so I'm not sure if doing this right now is a good idea. Like, you know, I wrapped up my run about an hour ago. So, whoo. Okay, that does feel good, I must say. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This feels amazing. It's not, it's different than the foam, foam roller. It's, because uh, it's cold. And it's like a direct point. It's like the top of the top of the ball there. It's like that direct point. It just feels real nice, real nice. <sighs> See you in the studio. The Recoup Cryosphere Cold Massage Roller. Oh my goodness, that was better than I expected, frankly, as far as how it felt. Now listen, it was just the first time. I'll be excited to use this much, much more moving forward. Uh, but I'm gonna dive into the question of the day right now because it ties into what I was referencing earlier out uh, outside when I was foam rolling. Uh, basically, here we go. What is your favorite piece of recovery gear or also known as recovery tool, okay? I would say in 2018, because I was battling plantar fasciitis, no doubt this foot log massage roller was my favorite recovery gear, recovery tool, because I could really work the bottom of my foot, especially the arch, to try and loosen up my plantar fasciitis. And sure enough, I was able to get rid of it in 2018. Now, I would say a, in 2019, oh boy, this guy, the bad boy that you see me use every single day now, the Hyper Ice Viper 2.0, is probably in the lead now for my favorite recovery tool, recovery gear for 2019. However, then in walks this little, this little fella, this uh, cryosphere, I don't even know what to call it. We'll call it the cryosphere for now. Uh, it just felt amazing out there just and now I'm really sore from the race yesterday so um, maybe when my legs are back to normal it won't feel quite as good but so far so good for the uh, cryosphere and then of course we've got the uh, trigger point foam roller that really digs in with these ridges yes this deep blue rub I'm still using in fact tonight I'm going to put more on uh, it has some essential oils in this uh, deep blue rub so now, it's a, it's a, it is a little expensive, but uh, especially after hard races, I love this stuff. And then the Epsom salt, uh, of course, my Hoka recovery slides. I wear these every single day, and the list goes on and on and on. So here's the deal. What I'm trying to become an expert in, and this is where the title of the vlog comes in, is that I know myself really well. I know for a fact. I don't know yet. Here it is. I will never be a watch or tech expert in fact on youtube as a runner okay i can think of three four probably even five other running 
YouTube channels that are really, really honed in and dialed in to running tech gear. This is not me. Now, I will give my opinion on watches every now and then, a uh, very basic overview. I won't take the deep dive into how the watches, all the different um, metrics that a watch can, can record, but I'm sensing, based off of the way I love to train, which is, um, you know, big volume, aerobic base, building that aerobic base, which means your legs are gonna be tired, which means I want to do my best at recovery. And remember a couple months ago, I asked the question of the day between do I love or do you love training more or racing more? And I personally chose training. I just love training. And so that means I'm putting my body and legs through a lot and especially leading into Amsterdam. So therefore I am sensing and this is after, you know, almost a year now of daily vlogging where I'm focused on running content exclusively on this channel. I'm sensing that I may be called to become the recovery expert in the running YouTube space because I just love it. I love taking care of the body. I love working hard and then recovering. And so anyway, that's where this cryosphere comes in. And I appreciate you answering the question of the day. And of course, recovery is gonna be the key word. I appreciate you uh, answering the question of the day because I know there's recovery gear out there that I have never tried. Or for example, even the, uh, the compression sleeves that I have on my legs right now, like that's another form of recovery. Um, so there's re literally so many different items out there. And I may have already asked this question of the day in the past, but uh, there's plenty of new people watching these days. So I would appreciate you answering down below. And that is it for today, folks. Uh, I am gonna head in, edit the vlog, get to bed, go to sleep, because yes, that is the best recovery tool that we have. And we'll be talking more about sleep in the not so distant future. And welcome to everybody, shout out, welcome to everybody who has found the channel in the last couple days because of the U.S. Mountain Championships heading out to the East Coast. I hope we have some new viewers out in New Hampshire, Vermont, New England. So thank you for hitting that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And uh, we're just moving onward and upward here in the studio, here in life, here on YouTube. Thanks to all of you. So, all right, we're gonna toss it back to, of course, a couple vlogs on the right and the left, both of them dealing with uh, recovery and my thoughts on recovery. So maybe that will help. Uh, maybe it'll help everyone who just ran the uh, Berlin Marathon uh, this past weekend. All right, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. Thanks for being here, everyone. See you tomorrow.